The center has been here since 1977, and through the years we've discovered needs for women and others in the community. We not only help you know, women who are in recovery, uh, we also help women who, and families who are going through struggles in life. People that you meet here are very gracious and anxious to help. I have a passion for my job, and that passion comes from actually living it. A lot of people come here and they are lost. But my purpose is to make them feel better and to help them find a way. When you come here, you're not going to an institution. You're coming to a place that is warm and caring, and you get that feeling as you walk through the door. I come from a family of blue-collar workers. Um, I've seen where the community has been there for me and my family growing up. I think it's real good that we can help out the community, help out the other people. So give them a chance, like they gave me a chance. It's nice to give back and help the community and help it look better, touch it up, do whatever we gotta do. I've always been a person that liked to give back. I'm really grateful for anything I could do to help. It makes me, it makes me feel very good to be able to help the, help the community. Allowing us to come in and, and put our students to work actually in the environment where it's actually helping somebody out is, is terrific. I'm grateful to have this beautiful facility for our staff and for the people who come here for our health. You come up to the building and you see it inside, you see how majestic it is and just the history and the comfort that we have here. There's a lot of people can't afford a home like this, so therefore when they walk up, they say, oh my gosh, what a beautiful, beautiful place. There is a need for maintenance at this particular building because of the, the age. And it's not just, you know, painting it and walking away, it's constantly gonna need something. I feel as stewards, of this beautiful place, that it's our obligation to take care of it. And so I was just, oh, I think it was a bit of a miracle that Painters on Demand reached out to us and said we'd like to help. And it just made so much sense for me to connect with Anne. Giving a simple facelift to this building has also given a lift to the morale here. And with Painters on Demand, they have actually allowed us to get that facelift because otherwise we would not have been able to do this. I think that it was a very, very, very special thing. And through that um, relationship, I've come to know what he does for other people in the community. Some good guys. Love to work here. Love to work for them. I don't have to worry about repairing and fixing things. They're taking care of that for us. So I now can focus on my real job, which is helping others and helping the staff to provide the services that we do. I am walking proof that we do what we say we're going to do. We're going to bring, you know, hope to somebody and make them a better person. It's a wonderful place made better by Painters on Demand and the great group of people that I'm surrounded with.